my channel and if you are new welcome so as you can tell um today is wash day i woke up about two hours ago but that was like at seven and i didn't want to just be up what am i here that early so i walked the dogs and i am back and i'm ready to start my wash day which will probably take a majority of the day which kind of sucks but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my most updated wash routine it has become very um detailed within my past couple of washes before i was only doing like shampoo conditioner and a deep conditioner and that's it but now i'm trying to do like hot oil treatments and like under the dryer type things and i'm really just trying to bring some more life to my hair because i feel like it's not at its 100 percent so right now um my hair has been sitting overnight i did a hot oil treatment if you guys want to see that um go ahead and drop something in the comments and i'll show you guys what i do um i'm also about to sit under the dryer for maybe 15 minutes just to you know let it soak and then we will go ahead and start the wash day so let's all right guys so i invested in this hooded dryer basically you have to attach it to a hair dryer that you already have i am so happy i bought this i love 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 this product i've used it non-stop since i've gotten it and um yeah i'll see if i can find the link and drop it below it was only like 10 to 15 dollars and i got it from amazon prime so you know it came within two days after I was done um, sitting under the dryer for about 15, 10, 15 minutes, I can't remember what I did, I um, took my braids out. As you can see, they are very, very, very juicy, and I brushed them out with my bristle brush. So we will go ahead and watch as I finish taking them out. As you guys can see, I'm using the Aunt Jackie's Oh So Clean Moisturizing Softening Shampoo. Um, me personally, I still don't have a shampoo that I'm in love, 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 love with. But I do like this shampoo because it's very cleansing and it smells really, really good. You can also see that I'm using the Hair Scalp Massager. And basically, this helps with blood flow to the head. So, um, you know, your hair can grow longer and faster. And, you know, it feels really, really good on your scalp, too. Now y'all, this product right here, this Aussie Moist Conditioner, y'all, this is my holy grail. I have been using this since I've had permed hair. I've been using this for years and it has never let me down. And like this right here will make your hair so, 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 so soft. Like you can run your fingers through it. You can, you know, do whatever you need to do with it. I usually use this conditioner to help detangle my hair just because it's just like, oh, it's like amazing. Like whatever they put in this, y'all, this, this product right here is A1. As I mentioned before, I use the conditioner to detangle my hair. Y'all just watch how my fingers run so easily through my hair and my comb run so easily through my hair. Like, whoo, mm, a blessing. Oh, so very easily and I've been trying to wean myself off of Aussie's conditioner just to try other things but I always get sucked back in because it does me so right <laughs> Aussie is the goat y'all 
<laughs> definitely go get the conditioner. So for my deep conditioner, I'm using another Aunt Jackie's product, the Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner. Um, I've used this a few times. I really like it. I feel like it keeps my hair very moisturized, especially when I sit under the um, dryer for a few minutes. Like y'all will see, it really does my hair right. Like this one, I like the deep conditioner a lot. When applying the deep conditioner, I make sure to brush it through to make sure it has hit every strand. I also make sure um, to get my roots as well because I have a big problem with missing my roots. When it comes to any product, any product that I use, I'm always missing my roots. So I've been trying lately to make sure I include my roots. And of course, I do a plait because I'm going to be um, sitting under the dryer once again. So after I sat under the dryer for 10 minutes, this is how my hair is looking. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. And then just wait until I unravel it, y'all. When I seen this, I was like, oh, this is real cute. It kind of looks like a wash and go, but not really. <laughs> So this is basically the end result of my wash day routine. Um, I know it doesn't really look the best, but that's because I just haven't put, in, put anything in yet. I don't really know what I'm doing to my hair as of yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put my um, little towel thing on. I don't really know what it's called. It's called a turby twist. I'm going to put that on my head until I figure out what I want to do. But this is the result of the wash day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.